It's here, it's happening. I'm flying out today. Bag is packed. Other more smaller bag is also packed and I am ready to get on a plane. This has been a long time coming. I've been counting down the days for what feels like forever, but it's time to reveal that I am going to be flying to New York City. Now I can sometimes struggle juggling excitement with fear and I don't know how I feel right now. It is very mixed emotions, but if the countdown timer on my phone for the last 70 plus days is anything to go by, I'm leaning more towards excited. Now for luggage, I have a 23 kilo allowance. And the scales say... 22.3 kilos. Okay, that seems safe, right? I am a little worried about how accurate that scale doohickey is. Earlier it said 22.8 kilos, so it's definitely got a wiggle room of at least half a kilo, so... <sighs> but my flight is several hours away from now, actually. I've still got quite a lot of time left, but I plan on getting there quite early. It's an international flight, obviously, and they recommend you be there at least three hours before the flight is supposed to leave. I plan on getting there four hours before the flight is supposed to leave. It's about an hour's drive to the airport-ish, but I will make a small detour on the way so that I can fully charge the car up before I get there. So my plan is that if I can be as close to a fully charged as possible when I park it, doesn't matter how much it drains, there'll still be enough in the tank to get me back. But this backpack, however, this is new. This was cheap on Amazon, so I'm a little bit worried about it. It's already like starting to split on some seams here, so that's kind of scary. But as far as a bag goes, it's kind of sick. It expands massively. So right now it's in its smallest config. You can see I've tightened it a little bit here to try and keep it squishy again. But if I unzip, like, I think it's this zip right here, it expands like double. So it can be this huge brick like on my back. So I'm hoping that this will get me by instead of having extra luggage. Because I am actually allowed to take a 10 kilo small suitcase and a backpack and the 23 kilo big bag. But I'm opting not to do that because that's a lot of luggage to lug around. And as I mentioned in the last video, New York is not the only stop that we're going to. It's where we're starting. We're going to see, I think, four or five different states the whole time we're there, which is a lot of traveling. And if I can cut out a bag, that's gotta be good, right? So my thought being that if I can take this bag with me in its small mode and have it at like sort of five or six kilos, which it is, right now it's about five kilos, then theoretically on the way back, if I have to, I can make it bigger to 10 kilos. And then if I really have to, I could pick up a second bag while I'm there, small backpack to put small things in there, like that five kilos, and then get 10 more kilos of stuff in there, which will be my cabin overhead baggage, 10 kilo allowance instead. So I'm going as, light as possible with as much potential for changing whilst I'm there as I possibly can. Now I'm normally quite a heavy packer actually. I know I've got almost 23 kilos in there as well but that's because I've got 14 days worth of clothing. Normally I'm taking like the keyboards like this guy. I actually got this guy to take with me but I'm not doing it anymore. I usually take my sort of portable gaming console. This is my ROG Ally. I normally take that PC with me. I would usually also take a laptop with me too. I'm not. I'm taking my small very small Windows tablet which is very underpowered and kind of crap, but does the job. I'm taking two chargers, I think, a couple battery packs. I'm not even, I'm not even taking my AR, VR glasses. These are the, what are they fucking called? Yeah, these are the X Real Airs or the N Real Airs. I forget, they changed the name a little bit, but those are sick, they're so good. And I was very much planning on putting them on my face on the plane, so I can watch movies or TV, whatever, with my eyes closed, basically. I have my own little bubble, and I have decided to not do that. Uh, because that's a quite a bulky case and I'm already taking the case for my metas and the case for my actual glasses. Now, I'm also hoping that I can sleep on the plane. So in theory, I just close my eyes, put some earbuds in and drown out the airplane noises, wake up eight hours later in New York. Profit? But I am kind of pooping out a little bit that I'm forgetting stuff. Like I'm trying to travel light, which is fine, but I just, I just <laughs> second guessing myself constantly. It's terrifying. I have not done a flight this long by myself. I don't think I went to Abu Dhabi once and that was by myself, but that was like all pre-booked for me. I didn't do anything with this. This one has been a lot more, um, if it's mistakes, it's my mistake. There has also uh, unfortunately been some changes to the, the plans whilst we're there. Now I didn't really divulge too much about them when I was there, but uh, some dynamics have shifted a little bit with people. There may be extra people there too, I don't know. So things are very much a little bit up in the air. I don't know as much as I'd like to, but honestly, I'm kind of in the zone to just do whatever the fuck. Right. I'm kind of sick of planning two weeks ahead to charge the car, you know? I just I just want to be able to, I say live in the moment, I guess, but it sounds a bit cliche. But just, I don't want to think about planning for the next whatever amount of time. I just want to, I just want to have a good time. So that 
what I'm going to do. But I'm going to grab my road snack. And I believe there's also a can in here too. Yes, here we go. And I have cleaned the fridge out of everything that could go weird while I'm away, so it shouldn't go smelly. Now the bins have been emptied, the water's turned off, fridge is clear of crap. I think I'm ready to go. Huh. Honestly, right, I've been like packing little bits every day, basically, for the last two weeks. So I feel like I haven't done anything. So all the little bits I've been putting in, I just forget about and I hope that they're there. So now it's on the day that I'm leaving, I'm like, have I packed this? I don't remember, but maybe. For example, a watch charger. I have a smartwatch, of course, and I haven't got the charger that I normally use. I've got a spare one that I have been using, which to my brain says that I've packed the one that I want to use. So theoretically, it's in the suitcase, but I've not seen it for a little while. So who knows? Small hiccup, where are my car keys? Aha, gotcha, yeah, buggers, right. Okay, it is go time. I should say as well, typically when I go on a, a vacay and I film a bunch of it, uh, what I tend to do is edit it whilst I'm abroad. There's usually a lot of downtime. It's usually a very chill moment. When you go on a holiday, you have like a beach or a swimming pool or just a very chill moment. Typically, I spend that time rather than reading or even gaming, I'll edit a video. That's not going to happen this time. I'm very aware of this. It is going to be a very action-packed fortnight. So what that means is basically, if you're watching this now, chances are, I'm already home. It's already passed. Because there's no way in hell I'm getting this edited whilst I'm away doing all the stuff that is currently planned. It's going to be insane. But the car is almost fully charged for the most part. So it is time to hit the road. But I'm leaving exactly on time to what I planned on leaving on. I'm just going to quickly double check on my passport. Yes, I do. Sorry, moment of doubt then. I second guess literally everything these days and it's driving me crazy, but I had to make sure a passport was there and it is, which is good. Now, normally when I would be flying somewhere, I'd have a whole bunch of stuff printed off. Like I'd have actual flight tickets probably printed off because normally I'd have checked in online in advance, which is what most airlines let you do. And this airline does let you do that, but only 24 hours in advance. And I tried that last night and it said no. So I'm trying not to overthink that because that's pretty worrying, but I'm sure a, a human being can help but I've got no like itinerary printed off. I've got nothing. All I've got is my passport. And actually, no, I'm lying. I do have one thing printed off. I have the documents for my ESTA printed off, which is basically like a waiver for not needing a visa. Everything else I have is digital, basically. I've got an insurance policy that's digital. I don't know, it's all a bit, uh... but anyways, yeah. As I was saying, I'm left basically exactly on time. God, that bag is flying around in the backseat there, isn't it, Jesus? I need to be there before 11. I can park from 10. It's a little over an hour's drive at this time of day. And I plan on pit stopping for half an hour to touch up the car up again and grab a snack. So I wanted to leave at eight o'clock. That gives me a little bit of wiggle room for traffic jams, diversions, yada, yada, yada. And it's now 8.03 and I've been on the road for a couple of minutes. So yes. But the stress is getting the better of me right now. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll put some music on, maybe a podcast, something nice and calming. Um, and I'm just gonna follow the blue line on the sat nav. And we've arrived at the stop and we are charging. I didn't need much, I'm 80% already, I've barely used any of it. But good top up a little bit, right? Don't need to be here very long. I don't need to be here at all, honestly. I've got plenty of range. But I think it'll help in the long run and what's a lot of rate for anyone, eh? Okay, car is charged, had my drink, had two peas. And now I'm about 15 minutes away from the airport, so I think it's time to get back on the road, get parked and see if I can check in. Okay, parked, car secure, bag in hand. Let's do this. What the fuck is going on? Here we go, we're at Terminal 2. Gotta find my desk and see if I can check in. It's a bit early, but I've got my fingers crossed. So it seems that the check-in desk don't actually open for another hour and a half, which seems mental to me, because that means there's only two and a half hours between the desk opening and the flight leaving. So that doesn't seem right to me, but I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place. Like, I'm fairly certain these are the desks that I'm going to be using. I've just got to wait for them to open. So I'm looking for somewhere to sit and chill where I can see a screen and keep an eye on what's going on. Well, I've got some to sit, which is nice. I'm going to wait another three quarters of an hour or so and then go wait by the gate, or by the uh, desk. And hopefully that means I can get in there pretty quick. Could be worse. I could be having car troubles like these guys over here. They're already struggling. <laughs> All good, yeah? Thanks so much, mate. Cheers. That took no time at all when I got there, but I've been queuing for 45 minutes. I said I was gonna, but my God, it took forever. But I'm through. I've got a ticket. I've got it booked in. How the hell do I get out of here now? 
Now I've got to security and hope for the best. Yeah, that was quite straightforward. Liquids out, everything else stayed in the bag. Walked straight on through. No trouble at all. That's a first. Just gotta get dressed. I always get so much fun today, didn't I? That was genuinely the easiest I've ever been through security. I just walked straight through. I barely queued, barely waited, and no one got searched. It was perfect. Now to find the gate and see what else is in this terminal. I don't think I've been to this terminal before, so this is all brand new to me now. I apparently need gate 208, but first I'm gonna see what's right. Oh, I have been here before. I do genuinely because this airport now, okay. Yeah, I know where I'm going. Sick. I've had coffee from that Costa, I've had water from that Smith's. This is like a home from home. I am actually pretty thirsty, so I might try and find some water soon, but first, ooh, I should browse some booze. Got myself a bottle of Dead Man's Finger. It's cherry, not the one I wanted, but it's still pretty good. Go find this hill now. But this is a thing, and I do not like the look of this, so I'm gonna find somewhere else to sit. Now, this should get me through the day, and there's even a little snack in there too. That's what it's about. There she is, loading the plane up again on that in like an hour. I don't know where we are right now, but look at this freaking boat. Look how cool that is. A, we I don't I don't know where we are or what is happening. I love but that. Yeah, I don't know what that is either, but it looks so cool. We should visit whatever that is. Well, something Fridays. Sure. Okay. Welcome to New York, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 